Hey, here we are. Happy Tuesday. I'm a few minutes early from the Tuesday tactic. I was going to try and shoot for 12:30 Central Time, but I've got a few uh, a few patients and clients scheduled this afternoon, so I wanted to get this out while I still had a minute. And it's oh, it's a gorgeous day on the lake. This is generally what my office looks like uh, most days or, or not. And so, uh, if you uh, if you love nature, you love the peace and tranquility of the lake, just uh, go ahead, tap the screen, let me know what you think. And I'm going to get right into uh, what I want to talk about in today's tactic, and uh, it is drinking in sweet death. And it's a, it's a sort of a simple concept, and here it goes. Here's the sweet death coming out of this cup. And so what the heck am I talking about? What is drinking in sweet death, and what does it have to do with you, health, longevity, and life? And so um, let me flip this around if I can. My camera sometimes does not work very well, like today. So I'll do it this way. So anyways, uh, sweet death, coffee. I love coffee. It's a, just a part of my daily routine and ritual. And I realized some time ago, as I hear often from my patients, that they sometimes don't feel so well when they drink a ton of caffeine. And so why is that? It's more than just the caffeine itself. It's the body's own ability to handle and process that. And it's highly variable. Uh, I had some data a couple years ago and I just sort of ignored it until recently when I dug into the results of some genetic testing and it's basically broken down like this. People who drink coffee metabolize caffeine in one of two ways. They either metabolize slowly or at a much increased risk for having heart attack and bad outcomes. And so uh, knowing this can really help you sort of make some decision making whether you you know have three, four, five cups of coffee a day or if you stick to one. And so the data is interesting. I love Costa Rica. My family goes there once or twice a year. We love Central and South America. And as you're probably well aware of, Costa Rica is one of the blue zones where people in certain regions of Costa Rica live longer than other places on the planet. And they actually did a study, 2,000 Costa Rican people who had heart attacks. And what they found is that those who were slow metabolizers of coffee had a much increased risk of having a heart attack kind of goes against the grain of what you think about, but it's uh, important. And so the data shows that, um, I don't have my notes in front of me, but those who drink maybe one or two cups of coffee have a 24% increased risk of having a heart attack. Pushing that up to three or four cups, the, the, the risk really jumps up. And those who drink four or more a day, the risk increased something astronomical, like 233% chance of having a heart attack just by drinking coffee alone and it's the effects of coffee on the body not to get all scientific and bore you with the detail but we all know that it raises your heart rate it raises your blood pressure can make you feel jittery but it also has some specific effects on the blood vessel walls making them less stiff and potentially more prone to blockage and clogging and causing those heart attacks and strokes so just take that to mind when you sit down with your afternoon cup of coffee i notoriously was drinking coffee in the morning and then having some at night and when I was working in the ER I'd obviously be drinking coffee at two, three, four in the morning just to keep going through the shift. I don't do that anymore. I don't work those shifts anymore because it's it's horrible on the body. But I've also replaced my afternoon caffeine with uh, what I call a napitation. And I get into that more on the blog. And so if you like content like this, uh, just tap the screen, share some love. And uh, you can head over to the blog at Mitchell MD. I've got tons of similar content over there. And I'll be joining you in a couple of days. I'm going to be sharing sort of a uh, exciting yet tragic story, just a poignant uh, a tale, a real life story. And uh, thanks for joining me today. And I hope you enjoyed this short Tuesday Tactic Periscope, and as always, uh, thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.